Hello, Mr. Thomas. Uh, uh, can you can you see and hear me clearly? If you need an appointment with your GP at the moment, chances are it's being done over the phone or like this, a video call, as demonstrated by staff at the West Quay Medical Centre in Barry. Okay, do you think that you could use your phone to show me the, the little area of rash that you have? Okay. Doctors are reducing the number of patients coming into surgeries to prevent the spread of coronavirus. Family doctors are often the first point of contact if someone feels unwell or worried, so being a GP at the moment has had its difficulties. I think at the start there wasn't a huge amount of information that was coming through and I think we all feel that we were having to make decisions as best we could and it's changed now to being almost a, a deluge of information and, and assimilating that is, is quite challenging. The, that, that's the problem at the moment is trying to assimilate all the information that is coming in. This practice, like many others in Wales, has made changes almost overnight. Vulnerable patients whose condition needs to be monitored can drive here and have a checkup from their vehicle. They've even made sure that if another surgery in their group has to close because it doesn't have enough staff, the West Key practice can access all patient records electronically and take over. The speed of change and rolling out video consultations across Wales has been rapid. It will be an exercise that normally would take us months, if not years, to work our way through to implement, and we've been able to achieve that just really in a matter of a couple of weeks, and I'm really grateful for the support that we've had for that undertaking from GPs. And GPs here hope some of these new ways of working will continue after the outbreak. This is, without a doubt, the biggest challenge the NHS has ever faced. It's none of us have ever, have ever experienced this. And there, I think, will be some positive changes that we can take from this, conferencing for meetings, video calls to patients, all of that kind of stuff, which is being done out of necessity, can probably, that learning can be taken and, and used for the future. Already, coronavirus has altered the face of our health service for the long term. Ellie Pitt, ITV News, Barry. Well, you heard there, the advice is to avoid going to your GP surgery unless you're told to do so by a medical professional, particularly if you are showing any symptoms of coronavirus. But what are the symptoms and what